Hello everyone, this is Foray and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. Last time we ended here in this hotel. Uh, we took the bus to Innsmouth and let's figure out what's happening here. Hello. Evening. Hi. My name's Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. Gilman? I run this here hotel of an evening. You got any rooms? I'd not rightly know that for sure. I'll have its cleaning rooms at present. Them's from out of town can leave a horrid mess. <laughs> All right. Talking to this fellow's getting me nowhere, and he's more than a touch creepy. If I need a room and I'm desperate, then I'll come back. Oh, okay. So we don't go here? Uh, where was the entrance? This way, right? Oh, it's around the corner. We don't talk to this guy? Could you no? direct me to the first national grocery store? I hear they have a shop in town. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> oh, well, you see, I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. I'm a friend of the family. He worked in the store. Don't know who you're talking about, fella. All right, so we need to go to the grocery store first. Hello. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Can't help you. <laughs> okay. Great. Where there was a store here. A variety store. Sure. It won't budge. Oh, there's an officer here. Maybe we talk to him. That way is blocked by a police line. Okay, so we just go down here. It's locked. It must lead to the back of the variety store. Yeah, it must. Mm. Oh, it's here. First National Grocery Store. Not gonna go in that way. How about here? Be cautious when sneaking past enemies to avoid detection. Keep in cover whenever possible to st stick to the shadows. Move slowly. Yeah. So it's basically every. Oh, hello. What? You can't come down here. Okay. The oh. police clearly don't want me snooping around. I need to be more careful. Yeah, guess we need to be more careful. Do we hide here? Wait till he comes back. Here he comes. Sneaky, sneaky. All right, let's book it. It's unlocked. Oh, did he get caught? What? Why did the camera pan down like that? Oh, to see the scratches on the floor, okay. Cool, let's close the door. Can push it in front of it. So the guy can't enter, I guess. Cool. Assorted paperwork, hmm. but nothing of any real interest. If you say so. There's a med kit here. Okay. There we go. Cash register. The tail's empty. Sure is. So what are we doing here? 
investigating, I guess. Nothing of interest. Hmm. Booze? There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. A typewriter. Invoices and receipts. Nothing of interest. The drawer is empty. Okay. The drawer is empty. I'm not even facing the drawer. The store appears to have been doing quite well under Brian. Hmm. A store of the year poster. <laughs> it seems Brian had a lot of pride in the store. Stock reminders and general notices. Nothing of interest. An empty safe. Nothing of interest here. All right. What's happening? Oh, they're breaking down the door? It won't budge. It won't budge. Do I need to hide? Eek. It looks like I need some sort of lifting handle to get it open. Oh. Uh oh. Hello. More bad ones snooping around here. Get out! And what have you got there? Trying to take evidence from the scene? Hand them over. <laughs> okay. So where would the handle be? Check if the boost is back. Yeah, it is. There's what a the bottle hell? of bootleg rum and a wooden <laughs> handle. Wooden handle? Oh, here he comes. Do we use the rum? Oh, and a wooden handle. Oh, alright. What he said with a wooden handle. Oh! Are we okay? Whoever's down there, you <laughs> can rock. All right. Oh, some more med kits. Don't mind if I do. Book. It looks like a diary. It's gotta have some clues. All right, so let's look at it. Check Walters. Oh, that's me, right? Um, no, I want. I didn't. What? Oh, here we go. Um, well, I agree with the locals on one thing. I shouldn't be. St Stuck in this miserable excuse word town. I can't see why nobody comes here. That's for sure. Another slow day at the store. At first I thought people were staying away because First National isn't local. But I haven't seen anyone go to any of the other stores either. Come to that. I haven't seen any other stores open for business. This place is better than that. Still, I won't be won't be long before I'm out of here. Before uh, we're both out of here, she's the one good thing about Insmith. We'll bust open old man's weight safe to take a car, take a car, and then it's New York City. Bright lights, nightlife. Okay. Is that enough evidence? Not sure. How do we get out of here? Well, not this way. Uh, we move the stairs. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, didn't mean to do that. But this works, I guess. If we could get out. Yeah, here we go. Hmm. 
Hmm. Alright. Photo lab? Old photos of Innsmouth. Most of them have faded beyond recognition. Hmm. Various chemicals and apparatus for developing photographs. Hey, are we developing any photos? Old photos of Innsmouth. Most of them have faded beyond recognition. No, I don't think so. Where does this lead? Some bullets. Yes. Mm. Nothing of interest. All right. A hairbrush. General notices. They're all dated 1846. Hmm. Notice the latch on the door. Okay. A bolt. Sorry. Where does this lead? Can't see anything of use. All right. Oh, not a safe Jack. point. Oh, hello. Do I know you, Lucas Mackey? Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New names spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackie? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Hmm. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay, maybe I'll catch you later. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. But I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's save here. All right. Where do we... This is the alley where... We came in. So the officer's gone now? Probably right. Oh, what's happening? Oh, someone... What? Some someone's watching from the rooftops. Hmm. All right. So what do we do now? What do we do? Do, do we go to the hotel now? I'm not sure. Is it? Does it say what my objective is? Somewhere. not. Let's try to talk to this guy again. Hello, Gilman. What do you want now? Strange thing about that Burnham lad. Burnham? Kent rightly says I know what you're talking about. That's odd. He was all over the Arkham press. Must have been a bit of a local scandal. Them's matters for the police, stranger. Innsmouth's not a town for rumoring and talking. That fellow was just stringing me along with a lot of nothing about nothing. Can we just go up? It's locked. A dusty assortment of old books. It won't open. No, so we don't go here yet. Excuse me, Constable. Jack Walters. The uh, ropes. Elliot ropes. What you want? 
Could you help out a stranger to this fine port? Are you being funny? No, not at all. I'm looking for a Brian Burnham. He works locally, in the First National Grocery Store. Innsmouth don't take too kindly to them from out of town. Get lost, stranger. All right. What happened here, Constable? Nothing. Oh, swell. You can let me pass, then? No. You'll have to go another way. Hmm. Okay, well, that doesn't help me at all. It won't open. Whispering. Tell. It's down here. The store is closed. It's down here. Yeah, enough, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, hello. Oh, can you spare a few pennies, young mister? I can give you something for your generosity. Who are you? Yeah. Zadok, that be my name. Though it's a few years in now. Zadok Allen. Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just a young'un. Worked over the store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? Killed? What makes you think that? Thence from out of town, running a store, taking business from the Order of Dagon. They'd not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? He just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice. Oh, yes. Old Zadok will fill your ears. The Order of Dagon? There you go. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young feller. Here be a little something in gratitude that might help you in your search. The keys? Oh, thank you. Ah, now you be calling me crazy. Like them that's the rumor in an anchor and an lip switch. But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. Mm. Uh, old Captain Movid where it all began. Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that would answer their prayers. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Uh, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet, till that artful night of forty-six. Them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I'd seen them. Swarms 
the head. Fishman. Look, old man. I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Ah, uh, was a massacre. The jail thrown open. Mounds of the dead and the dying. Shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy as strangers if we were known what was good for us. All right. Zadok, who did all this? Who did all this? Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even cause. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? Oh. You just asked old wastes about oaths of Dagon. I he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in that dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Alright, so we need to go to the poorhouse. Let's go. Oh, hello. Mr. Walters, I must speak with you. It's Jack. And is there anyone in Innsmouth who doesn't know my name? <laughs> my name's Rebecca Lawrence, and unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Missing, huh? Like Burnham? Of that, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billingham's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. What? Who's oh. Ruth? Quickly, you have to follow me. It's not wise to be seen talking to outsiders. All right. Jack, Innsmouth is a strange place. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. Strange? Trust me. I'm good with strange. That remains to be seen, but I can help you. My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. Hmm. Whenever you find one, you can use it to find a moment of sanctuary. Now, I must leave before we're seen together. I've seen that eye-like symbol somewhere before, but never surrounded by a star. No. Oh, it's just a save point again. Cool. So, to the poorhouse, I guess. Ooh, we're being watched. Spooky. Um, excuse me. What's happening? It won't open. It won't open. This was the poor house, right? Oh, sorry. It's over here. It's unlocked. Here we go. If I see you without fire, I'll report your order. I'll not say nothing. <laughs> Hello. I'm the outsider. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Stop pestering me, stranger. Sorry. Notice. It's a bit dark down here. I have a strange feeling I'm being watched. You do? Where are we going? Hello. 
It won't open. It won't budge. Hi. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. I never heard of It's the entrance to the town poorhouse. Can I take a candle? No. Oh. It's following me. Jumping from roof to roof. Since old Lady Warren's passed away, the food is rotten. But we'll die soon enough. Hmm. Hello. Her sleep is restless and erratic. Oh, cockroach is nice. So what are we doing here? Besides picking up an first aid kit. I'm supposed to Nothing of interest. Be it through a wall somewhere? I remember this being a reasonable reasonably straightforward game, but Nothing of interest here. Keep getting stuck. Oh, we haven't gone here. It won't open. Right. Oh. It won't open. This one? Yes. Yo, my face is going blurry. Hello. Bites. Hi. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? It's getting late outside. Folks <laughs> as know what's good for them are safely bowling in their homes by now. Hello? Hello there, little lady. Hi, sir. Are your parents at home? Daddy's at work and mummy's upstairs in the attic. She's been bad. I see. Wow. Okay. So What's your name, little lady? Ramona. Well, Ramona, could you get your mommy for me? Nope. Mommy bites. Daddy says we've got to keep her up there for her own good. Mm. Excuse me? When I go near the door, she growls. I don't love mommy like I love my daddy. You don't say. Ramona, I really need to speak to your daddy. Do you know when he'll be home? Soon, I think. You can wait inside if you like. Daddy won't mind. I'm drawing pictures with my crayons. That would be great. Thanks. Little girls are the creepiest. I should check the place over while I've got the chance. Nothing of interest. No, oh, come close the door. Mm. It won't budge. It won't budge. <laughs> it's a recent family photo. The corner's been torn off. I can only see Thomas and Ramona Waits in the picture. How do you know Thomas's name? An old chest of drawers. No, it won't budge. Oh. Doors bolted shut. It won't budge. All right. An old chest of drawers. Nothing of interest. Oh, can't see a, anything of use. There's a bolt here. Sorry. Oh, that's the bed we just saw. No. Oh. 
<laughs> Mommy's a fish man. Uh oh. Did it eat the girl? Oh. I'm in the nut house. A diary. Yeah. Sure does. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh God. No. They've taken the last thing I loved away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was up there. What the hell was that thing? There's no time to explain. They'll be here soon. Listen to me closely. You've been the talk of the town all day, asking after the Burnham lad. I heard he never made it to Boston, that he was copped by the Order of Dagon. Did he pocket anything from the store's safe? Thankfully, no. It's sturdy. He'd never have wrenched it open with a crowbar. There's something in there that needs protecting from the order. You've got to get it out of Innsmouth. Hmm. Take the key to the back of my store. The safe combinations in my diary upstairs. Hurry, Jack. What the hell's in the safe anyway? The Necronomicon, right? You've gone too far this time, wait. We're taking you in for murder. You'll swing for this. Wait, he didn't do anything wrong. He killed his own daughter. It's out flesh and blood. There's plenty wrong with that. I'm reckoning you do well to mind your own business, stranger. It ends must we handle things by the old ways. Uh, bye, I guess. It won't open. Oh, there was it a crossbow in there. Where do we go? Not the same way they did it? I guess so. It's Ramona's coloring book. Okay. What? How did I miss that? Hello. Jack, Jack. Oh, thank God I found you. Waite's been arrested for the murder of his daughter. I know. It's my fault, Rebecca. What are you talking about, Jack? What's your fault? There was something in the attic. Some kind of animal, and I let it loose. It's all my fault. The police drag Waite's off. He can't take the fall for this. He's done nothing wrong. We gotta do something. Guilty or not, the Order will see him lynched for it. Hmm. There's nothing you can do. Oh, you must have taken quite a bang in there, Jack. Your head's bleeding. Yeah, I think I was out of it for a little while. I see you've got some bandages. Use them on your head. It'll help you heal. You're not losing too much blood. You won't need a suture. Thanks, Rebecca. Oh, am I... What do I need? Bandages? Alright. Yeah, do it. How does this work? 
Oh, then I leave the inventory, okay? Good to know. So now my health back. Yes. Okay, cool. Whoa, what's this? Okay, here we go. So we need to go to the door. Uh, what I'll do, guys, I'll save it here. No, I can't. Is the doors closed? Oh no, it's open now. I'll save it here and I'll continue in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Leave a like on the video and a comment. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye. This is a message to everybody watching. If you liked what you saw, please consider liking the video, commenting or subscribing. If you want to get notified when we upload again, hit the bell icon. Thank you very much for watching and you can expect us in the next video.